Hello, I'm Sue Cooper and this is a general English presentation for E2, English and Environment. Today we will study the simple present tense. Functions of the simple present tense. The simple present tense is used for two main functions. Firstly, general facts. These are facts that are always true. For example, trash in the gutters causes flooding. Plastic waste harms the environment. Burning plastic creates toxic smoke. The second function is repeated facts. These are facts that are true because they are regularly repeated. For example, those kids litter every break time. My family sorts trash every day. I sell plastic to the waste bank. Identify the function of these simple present tense sentences. Are they general facts or repeated facts? Number one. I bring a refill bottle every day. General or repeated? Of course it's repeated. Two, burning plastic causes pollution. General or repeated? This one is general. Number three, if turtles eat plastic, they die. General facts or repeated facts? Of course, it's general again. Number four, my school runs an eco program. General or repeated? Again, this one is general. Number five, I reuse plastic every week. General or repeated? Yes, that's right, it's repeated. And number six, Rivers carry trash to the sea. General or repeated? Correct. It's general. Were you correct? Did you get them right? Now let's look at forms of sentences. A simple present tense sentence can be either A, a nominal sentence with B, that is am, are or is, or B, a verbal sentence with a verb. For example, see, play, make, write, etc. In this presentation, we will study nominal sentences. Nominal sentence positive form. Here are the elements of a nominal sentence in the positive form. Subject plus B, am, are, is, plus adjective or noun or adverb of place. For, for example, I am active. This one uses an adjective. You are a teacher. This one has a noun. He is in the garden. This one has an adverb of place. Here are some examples of a nominal sentence positive form. Subjects, they, we, I, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Brown, B, am, are, is, and adjectives, nouns, and adverbs of place, hardworking, careless, a plastic recycler, at the trash bank, in the garbage truck. Say aloud five different sentences choosing one word or phrase from each column. For example, Mr. Jones is hard working. Now it's your turn. You have one minute.
Well done. Nominal sentence positive form. Another exercise. Repeat the sentences that I read. So listen carefully. Number one, Mr. Jones is careless. Number two, we are at the trash bank. Three, they are in the garbage truck. Four, Mrs. Brown is a plastic recycler. Five, I am hard working. How did you go? Now read these sentences aloud. Awesome. Nominal sentence negative form. You will see that the elements of the negative form are the same as the positive form, except we need to add the word not. For example, I am not active. You are not a teacher. He is not in the garden. Easy. Here are some examples. Subjects, you, she, they, Ari and I, Mrs. Darcy. To be in the negative this time, am not, are not, is not. Adjectives, nouns and adverbs. We have some different ones. Smart, motivated, a trash bank manager, at the composting place, in the classroom. Say aloud five different sentences, choosing one word or phrase from each column. For example, they are not in the classroom. Your turn. You have one minute. Well done. Lastly, nominal sentence negative form. Repeat the sentences that you hear. Listen carefully. One, Mrs. Darcy is not a trash bank manager. Two, they are not motivated. Three, Ari and I are not in the classroom. Four, we are not smart. Five, she is not at the composting place. Now read them aloud. Did you get them right? Awesome. Now let's take a look at nominal sentence interrogative form. This means a question. We have the same elements. We have subject, am, are, is, adjective, noun, adverb of place. But we have to change the position of one of these elements. Am, are, is does not take the center place, the middle place. It moves to the beginning of the sentence. For example, am I active? Are you a teacher? Is he in the garden?
examples. Here we have to be, am, are, is at the beginning of the sentence or the question. The subject in the middle, he, you and Tony, I, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Green, and the adjective noun adverb. Let's have some different ones. We have interested, creative, an expert, a leader at the river ravine. Say aloud five different sentences, choosing one word or phrase from each column. For example, am I creative? Your turn. You have one minute. Well done. And lastly, nominal sentence interrogative form. Repeat the sentences. Listen carefully. Is he a leader? Are you and Tony at the river ravine? Is Mr. Smith interested? Am I an expert? Is Mrs. Green creative? Now read them aloud. Did you get them right? Awesome. In this video, we studied nominal sentences. Check out the next E2 video about verbal sentences. This was a general English presentation by Sue Cooper for E2 English and Environment. See you next time.